Don't forget your skincare. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. I'm taking care of my skin. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Layla Saad. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this video is going to be honestly probably like the most important video I ever, ever do. So if you're new here, welcome. You've picked a good one. Um, I'm going to chat a little bit and then I thought I'd do like my evening routine. It's nighttime. I'll do my evening routine, take off all of my makeup, put on my skincare, show you guys like the actuality of what my skin looks like right now. So, you know, you see the reality of it. You know, no one's skin is perfect all the time. And this video is about how I cleared my skin, but it doesn't mean I cleared my skin forever. It's been a long journey. But these things have severely, severely helped me go from like pure misery <laughs> to I'm just happy with where I'm at and I know that struggling with acne is one of the hardest things that anyone will ever have to deal with and that's not even being dramatic because there's something about acne that is so detrimental to somebody's self-confidence and I'm here to tell you that it gets better and even if it doesn't, in hindsight, like now, you can make it through anything, I promise you. So I'll chat a little bit, probably pop up a little bit on some pictures about how this all started for me. So I'm sitting crisscross, I wish you could see, but you can't, maybe I should change. <laughs> but um, so story time, yay. So we'll throw it back, um, we'll throw it back. I always had perfect skin when I was a kid, like my 15 year old, 16 year old. I had totally fine skin for a teenager. Um, I went on birth control and I hated it and it made me miserable, but at that time I didn't really know it was birth control because we didn't really know, we don't really know these things still, but we learn. Um, and I tried a bunch of different kinds and for three years of my life I tried everything under the sun and it all just really messed with me and it came to the point where emotionally it was really really bad like I switched one and then for three months I was almost severely depressed like because of my rape control so I made the executive decision to go off of it and then four months into it boom your girl started to get acne and that acne was brutal holy shit that stuff was like and i've never had it before i never washed my face i was in college i was going out until 2 a.m and coming home and sleeping in my makeup and going to class in that makeup and then going to the gym i didn't know and then that start started to get acne so put that on top of getting acne holy crap drinking like whatever the heck i was doing and that was rough i was in a really bad place like that was so hard for me i didn't know how to deal with it i didn't know who to talk to and so by junior year holy crap uh, junior year was so rough for me because my skin i lost motivation to go to the gym and then once my skin started settling in and was terrible, I was like, well, I feel terrible. Anyways, so what's the point in going to the gym? And I just got into the spiral and it was so bad and I was miserable and I didn't know what to do. I like don't, like a lot of people in that situation would just like call their parents and be like, I need to go to a dermatologist. Like I just don't have that luxury. And I was like, I can't afford a dermatologist. Like, I, I don't even know my health insurance. I have it through the school. Like, I have no clue. And, like, I was just like, you know what? I can't do this. That's not for me. I hate medicine. I would hate to, if they put me on any sort of medication. I barely even took Advil at that point. So, so I was really, it was really hard. Like, I, I wouldn't want to go to class. I would hide in my room. I would... It was just so freaking bad. Eventually, I found somebody that was like close enough to me where I could drive, an esthetician, my first time ever going to an esthetician. She, I went to go see her like once every two weeks and we would do a facial, um, she would do extractions and all this stuff. So I'm in college, I'm working three jobs at this point, so 
I could afford it. Um, the products, I don't, I don't know now. Like to me now, they're probably wicked affordable. But then I was in college, and I'm like, this is so much money. But I had to do what I had to do. So what she gave me was like, uh, like a three-step thing, but I couldn't afford like the two other steps. So I finally get it. I'm like, okay, skincare routine. Before I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like buying God knows what and like taking online quizzes and just being really lost. Watching YouTube videos about people healing their acne and just all these things that confused me and she helped me and for like three months my skin was really improving while going to see her but then I graduated and it was in New Hampshire and it was no longer convenient for me and I couldn't get my products that kind of faded away but my skin was feeling a lot better so I kind of was like okay like I'm probably fine I don't need like those specific products and I got like CVS brands and I got like the ordinary brands and I was kind of just mixing things and I didn't know how to use them and I just was like okay well I use mandelic acid with her so I'll just buy it from the ordinary and I'll just put it on like I did before and, and it just wasn't working for me the ordinary products were are in the right direction and they had the right things I just wasn't using them correctly for what I needed but it really wasn't until, okay, okay, we're up until like now. So we're gonna break real quick and I'm going to wash my face off so you can all see it and put on my pajamas. <laughs> my little bunny ears, I have a look, thank you. Um, so for my evening routine, since I have makeup on, I am going to double cleanse. I don't really, I should move this. <laughs> Can you take me seriously like this? Um, so I'm going to double cleanse and I'm only going to double cleanse because I have makeup on and I actually don't really know the right way to double cleanse. Um, but realistically, I use any freaking face wash on the face of the planet. I personally don't really care. Yet, I will learn in the future what consists of a good um, face wash probably. But for now, I'm just going to go with this bad boy. So it's a soy, soy face cleanser for all skin types rich in amino acid. Gentle cleanser. It smells like roses. And I love roses. And wash off my really poorly done makeup. Most of my makeup is off. Acne or scars or whatever. Discoloration comes to fruition. Is that a word? Is that how you use it in a sentence? I am not sure. Now, I just went in with my oil. My skin was still damp. And I'm cleansing. With the cleanser, I use a nice, warm, clean washcloth. And I think the washcloth makes a difference. Did your parents make you, or whoever, make you wash your face when you were younger? Like, wash your, brush your teeth, wash your face? Like, I don't know if that was just because my mom dealt with acne, but she was always like, Wash your face. Like, I had a washcloth and I washed my face. Is that normal for everybody? I don't know. I abandoned that as a teen since my mom told me to do it. So, naturally, I didn't. And I've learned washcloths, man. A lot less cute than I was before. But that's okay. You can't all be cute all the time. I'm sure there are people out there who can be cute all the time. And I'm not one of them. But this is the most important step. And I keep it on my next to my bed because I put it on before bed. The holy grail, which I will discuss. I take this. Boom. Boom. Oh yeah. Rub that in. My cheeks are the worst. Hormonal. So like right here. And my forehead. I have like a weird one. Like right there. That goes down. I let that soak in. Lately, I don't know, I got this, I won this like giveaway of this RNW. It's like Korean and I can't even read the directions or the ingredients and that should really terrify me. 
Um, but for some reason, I consider can <laughs> continue to put it on. It literally just smells like water. I don't know. I won't recommend this. But it's an emulsion. I've never used an emulsion before. I have been putting it on though. Ooh. I've been putting it on because it's meant to be like in between your serums and your like moisturizer or oil. And it's like a, not a water bait. I don't know what it is. Emulsion is like oil in a moisturizer, I'm assuming. The fat emulsed in something. I'm not really sure. But I've been putting on because it just feels like a, like a nice step in between. I don't know what an emulsion is though, so don't quote me on anything. <laughs> I'm gonna put my pajamas on and then I will put on my last step of my skin. All right, put my sweatsies on and my skin's fairly dry. The last thing I'm gonna put on is this cold press rose hip organic seed oil from The Ordinary. This is my lover. I'm almost, I'm almost all out. I'm gonna need a re-up. I put it in the palm of my hands, mix it around, and press, 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 press. Maybe rub it a little bit. I just got this new sweatshirt from Maritzia, and I'm obsessed with it, and I never want to take it off, so. Okay. All right, now for the breakdown. So you just watched my evening routine. Now I'm all oily and shiny. Half the times y'all think I'm glowing in my pictures. I'm covered in facial oil. Um, <laughs> so starting with March because quarantine has really been like what helped my skin. And I think there's a few different reasons for that. I think stress plays a role. That's obvious, I would think, for most people. So in March, I did make the decision to go gluten-free and dairy-free. So I have a nutrition degree, for those who don't know. I've always been into nutrition. And I've been vegan. I've been, like, anti-inflammatory. I've been low FODMAP, which is for digestion. I've been gluten-free before. I've been dairy-free before. I've been a lot of different things before. But in March, I decided I am doing gluten-free and I'm doing dairy-free and I'm going to do it full force. Then we went into lockdown and I was like, of course, right before a pandemic, I decided to be gluten-free and dairy-free. Personally, I've always had digestive issues. My mom had digestive issues. My grandmother had digestive issues. It runs in my family. And so I've always been conscious of it. I found personally that those things upset my digestive system. Dairy, way more than gluten. And so now, December, I've been gluten-free and dairy-free this entire time, but I am intuitive with my eating. So if I want a piece of pizza with gluten and cheese on it, I will eat a pizza pizza with gluten and cheese on it. If I want a bagel, I will have a bagel. If I want cream cheese, I will have cream cheese. If I want a cinnamon roll, I will damn for sure, for sure damn, hell yes, have a cinnamon roll. Um, so I am intuitive with it but for the majority, dairy-free and gluten-free. Um, dairy, it's a popular opinion to have dairy linked to acne or inflammation. There are plenty of studies to prove that that is not true, um, but everybody's bodies are different. So that was my like one like beef I had with nutrition, is that like you learn textbook definitions of like what is right and wrong during research, but all research is based off of the sample size, everyone's different, everyone needs different things, everyone's bodies require different things and react to different things differently. We are different human beings. So that's why when you see someone on Instagram who's vegan doesn't mean you should be vegan. Just because I'm dairy free doesn't mean you should be dairy free. Just because I'm gluten free doesn't mean you should be gluten free. Just because someone else doesn't eat peanuts doesn't mean you shouldn't eat peanuts. Everyone's different, okay? Is the point I'm trying to make. And it doesn't mean that dairy causes acne. So like if you don't have acne and you consume dairy, don't cut out dairy. You know what I mean? Chow feel. Chow feel. So anyways, I've been doing that. I personally feel a lot better. I really like it. It's not difficult for me because I do have a nutrition background. So I know what is in gluten. I know what I need to have to have all my nutrients. Same with dairy. I can get other sources of what I need. So it works out for me. Um, if you have questions about it, you can reach out to me if you think that this might be something that works for you. 
cool. But those are two things I have done and I really enjoy it personally. Perhaps something to try at least and like give it a weird, like a good try. I cut it out a, like I cut it out my junior year I think and I did for like two three weeks and I was like oh no screw this. So March is when I started doing gluten free and dairy free. July is when my skin started to be very very clear. In April, I purchased Curology. So I sound like a walking Curology. Is that the moon? She's so pretty. Come on, guys. Let's go say hi to the moon. Oh my god, I have a mess. Oh yeah, we're getting there. I'm gonna cry. She's so beautiful. That's so insane. I can't believe this camera can like show you that. And just like that, you're a speck in the universe. Sometimes I think the moon's fake. Sometimes I wonder if we're in a simulation. <laughs> Back to your um, scheduled regular scheduled programming where was I curology okay so when people message me about skin and I always answer curology I sound like a walking advertisement I sound like I'm paid to say it I sound like all these things because I'm later trying to sell people on it because I, I can't express enough how much everyone should just do this so it's a money back guarantee, like actually a money back guarantee, like whenever I hear that I'm like, oh yeah sure, money back guarantee, like how am I actually going to get my money back? So this is what happens, and I'm walking you through it, because if you're struggling with acne, have been struggling with acne, it's worth a freaking damn shot. Worth a shot, might as well, give it a go. So it was like five bucks, and you take a quiz, all these quizzes about like your skin, where your acne is, whatever, all this stuff. Take a picture of your acne and you send it to them. Five bucks. And they send it to actual dermatologists, estheticians, whole board, whole team. They create a formula specifically for you, for your skin, for your problems, whatever, what have you. And then they ship it to you. Again, this was five dollars for me. I don't know if this is still it, but it was five bucks. And I got to try it for 30 days or 60 days. I don't remember. It's like a 90, 90 day money back guarantee. So, whatever. I tried it. I'm used again. And I'm like, alright, I gotta give this the benefit of the doubt. Three days. I'm not kidding. Three days. And I already was like seeing improvements. I was like, damn, this is like kind of working. By a month, I was literally appalled. I was like, this is unreal. They Then they follow up with you in 30 days and they say, hey, how's it going? Send us progress pictures. So I send them a, a progress picture. Obviously, if you don't see progress, you'll get your money back. Shall feel? But I couldn't lie. I'm like, uh, yeah, hello, I'm seeing progress, what's up? And, <laughs> and then, 60 days goes by, and I'm, I'm in. Sold. Sign me up. So I think it's like 40 or 60, there's, okay, so you can get a moisture, you can get a cleanser, the Curology, and a moisturizer. It comes in a little bundle. I personally don't get the bundle. I think the moisturizer is personally crap. I use the cleanser, the Curology, and then the moisturizer. That's it. That's all I used for like a month. Yes, my skin was clearing up, but I also felt like my skin was really, really dry and irritated almost in a way because it was getting dry and I was like putting on all this moisturizer. I just personally don't like their moisturizer. Their cleanser is fine. It's just a gel cleanser. So what I do is I just get, I got just a big bottle of my Curology. And it's like 60 bucks or something. I don't know. It's on a cycle. So like every two months, they send it automatically to your doorstep. You don't have to worry about it. It's a subscription base. Personally, it's like the perfect amount for me. Now I get the smaller ones because I don't need as much. Like my skin's been breaking out as of late, going into winter, I think. Um... So I've been using it more, but I wasn't using it like for like September on and off. So Curology, it's I know mine is like a niacinamide, um, like a cream, a cre creamide, cremide or something, zinc. 
something like that. And I use niacinamide zinc from The Ordinary, but this is like a cream, like a like gel almost. Not a gel. It's kind of like an emulsion, honestly. <laughs> like that other shit. Um, and it works well for me. I like the texture of it. Curology is like my number one recommendation to everybody. First step, I would say go to Curology. Again, money back guarantee. I don't get why anyone wouldn't do it. It's personalized. It's customized to you. And they also do like anti-aging stuff. Like they do like all different types of skin. It's not just acne. So like whatever your goals are, like you can reach out to them and they have personalized things. So that's the third thing. So dairy-free, gluten-free, Curology. And then the third thing is something I never thought would be like a me thing. Uh, me thing? I don't know. Um, is oils. So I don't know why. I think I might have listened to a podcast or something talking about oils. I had my rose hip oil. I had the chia oil. I had chia oil from Coco Kind. I knew the oils were good and I used them every so often. But I wasn't using them like I should have, I guess, or in the right way, and I wasn't using them as often as I should. I love facial oils. They are my savior, my saving grace. I love them so much. I don't even know how to explain it. I put I put rose hip seed oil on my skin. If I just put rose hip seed oil, I like douse my skin in it, and I go to bed, and I wake up, and my skin is the softest glowiest holy crap i don't even know how to explain it i love it it's amazing i feel like a million dollars that's my favorite oil is the one i have right now is the cold press rose hip seed oil from the ordinary i just really really like oils and oils will be a staple in my skincare routine for the rest of my life um so in the morning i use a cleansing oil i put on my vitamin c serum and then i put an antioxidant oil over it um i love the Antioxidant oil from Mad Hippie. They did send me the Mad Hippie products, but I've always been interested in Mad Hippie because they sell them at Whole Foods, and I love Whole Foods, and I do love the products. I'm almost out of them, so I've used them dry. Chia chia seed oil from Coco Kind, rosehip oil from The Ordinary, and the antioxidant oil from Mad Hippie. Oh yeah, so cleansing oil, vitamin C, antioxidant oil in the morning, and then in the evening, as you saw. Um, I just like wash the makeup off my face with whatever, honestly. <laughs> Cleansing facial oil again. Curology. I guess that emulsion thing. And then an oil. Sometimes I use a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I do love is the CeraVe Hydrating Moisturizer. I'll put a little picture of it. Um, 15 bucks for a giant bottle. I just ran out of it. I bought it, I think, in March. For me, I have really sensitive skin. It's super lightweight. I swear by it. It's like my favorite moisturizer. I probably will buy it forever. Um, or maybe over fancy brands. I don't know. It does the damn job. It's hydrating. It's light on my skin. It doesn't make me feel oily. It like absorbs quickly. It's fragrance free. Um, I just like it. It's amazing. Personally, I just I would recommend it. If I was on a desert island and I had to like pick three items, it would be my Curology, my CeraVe, and my Rosehip seed oil. So yeah, I guess those are the three big things that really have cleared up my acne. I, I do my skincare every single day though, morning and night. Before I go to bed, I always do my skincare. I literally never miss it. I don't care if I'm drunk and it's 2 a.m., I'm doing my skincare. So those are the three things that I did and it's really helped my skin. So. Obviously, like right, so my skin in July, I'll post a picture of it, was the clearest my skin has been. August, September it was still good, but I had like breakouts here and there. It's been getting a little bit rough lately. I had like some major breakouts on my cheek. I don't know where they came from, um, but it was really bothering me and they were really deep. So I kind of like popped them, but I personally like you have to gauge it you just have to learn but I had to get it out because it was like in there and if it stayed there like it's just gonna build up and be under my skin forever so I got it out so now I have like these scarring these aren't like active pimples though this is just like redness and scarring so like there's no like actual bumps there same with this dark spot I did get some like two pimples on my forehead um, one in the middle here and one up here I did pop them I think <laughs> whoops 
I don't recommend popping pimples. I like clean after, before and after. I make sure my fingers are clean. Um, and then this side of my skin, I zoom in. This is like my clear side. I still have like scarring though. Like you can see I have scarring. Um, eventually maybe when I'm rich, I'll get like um, micro needling because that's supposed to help with like scarring and discoloration. So maybe one day I'll get that. But it's mad expensive, so and you have to do like multiple sessions. Um, but yeah, and I wanted to take off my makeup so I can like just be real with you guys um, on like what my skin's looking like right now. But so yeah, that's really that's like the gist of it. I know you probably have questions because there's no way I could cover everything. So feel free to DM me on Instagram at Lila Jane Sod. Anything about skin, like, I will answer. I'm happy to, help, happy to try to help steer you in the right direction. I hope this did that for most of you. Again, you don't have to do any of this, but if you are struggling, I know how bad it sucks and, like, it feels really shitty and you're pretty much down to try anything and that's really what it was for me. But, yeah, I really hope this was helpful. Feel free to, like, comment to your questions um, or anything like that. If you've used any of these products before and you love them, if you, use, if you use any products and you hated them, if you use Curology and they're like, that shit sucks, tell me. Put in the comments. I want to know because I recommend it to everybody. Um, and, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I know this was a long video, but I just have – it's a big, big piece of me. And, um – I just know like the pain that I can cause somebody and if I can help in any way sign me the frick up all right thank you so much for tuning in I appreciate it more than you know your support means the world to me um, so please make sure you are subscribed if you are watching this I really really appreciate it Make sure you are following me on Instagram at Layla Jane Saad. Um, I post every single day, twice a day sometimes. And yeah, let's just keep in touch. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.